Hey guys, so I wanted to make a video about a, a pretty basic a pretty basic thing that you will find throughout just about everything, whether it's a self-help book, a motivation book, spiritual texts, it's all over the place. And I wanted to talk about this because uh, it directly, I've directly just been aware of it um, since falling down the stairs last week. I thought I broke my tailbone. I made a video just now about, um, just now meaning a few days ago about uh, how I revised it in the moment and then it ends up that my tailbone's not broken and it's actually a lot better now. That video um, <clears throat> that I made right after leaving the doctor was Sunday, it is, I mean it was, yeah, Sunday, now it's Tuesday, and it has improved dramatically since then. Um, you know, just, I don't know if this is just more evidence that, you know, what you think is what ends up happening, knowing it wasn't broken, knowing it was just a hematoma, basically a giant pooled area of blood that was very painful and that that was going to heal has produced um, a pretty dramatic improvement in it in just two days. But um, one of the things that I noticed, because, you know, I'm I'm really I'm pretty aware of my thoughts at this point. I'm really interested in, in what I'm thinking. I'm existing from an observer standpoint a lot of the time now, um, kind of detached from what's happening in in my actual 3D human life and sort of watching what the 3D human is thinking and doing and what's what the outcome is of that. Uh, one thing that I've noticed is, and that I've been intentionally doing for years is practicing, and this has become easier as I've gotten a deeper understanding of everything, is practicing non-judgment. So basically not thinking that I know what things mean, not thinking that I know what this 3D event that just happened or is happening means or indicates for the future. Um, I've noticed this a lot. And, and the reason I'm bringing this up in this video is because this is not like some gift bestowed upon me. I, everything that I've talked about on this channel has, most of what I've talked about on here has been a sort of a hard fought, hard won battle with myself and uh, becoming disciplined and, and, and habitually changing something. So um, in this case with the non-judgment getting to a point where you know catching myself enough times having thoughts about what this thing that just happened is and meant for the future stopping and changing it which i did uh pretty quickly after falling down the stairs last week i was i kept my mind went towards the you know it went towards the worst case scenario and uh sort of like an <laughs> am i cursed am i just going to be injured forever and I sort of had an automatic thought that I didn't have to force. Um, I noticed this, and this is a result of having caught myself and purposefully changed what I was thinking enough times. Um, I had a little thought in there when I was laying face down on the mattress with an ice, uh, ice pack on my ass, uh, just dying in pain. Um, I had this little thought creep in that, hey, you know, maybe this is gonna fix, I had all these other problems. Maybe this had to happen to fix some of those, like the sort of positive little thing worked it, its way in. And I'm not sure if that's really any better than having a negative thought about it. I would made me feel better, so I would think it was better. But ideally, you just don't make any judgments at all on what's happening. This is especially important for those of you that are here um, from the manifestation community uh, who are, you know, manifesting something that you want, trying to reach a goal that has eluded you trying to change something that seems very difficult or improbable. This is absolutely key for you, um, for your experience. Whether or not it actually affects the outcome, I don't know. Nobody really knows. Um, the way these things are orchestrated are, are often largely unknown ever to us. I think we can pretty much all agree. We don't always see what's going on behind the scenes or what series of events led to the ultimate realization of a goal or manifestation of a thing or change, personal change. And uh, in order to not just be sitting around freaking out all the time, it really helps to get good at allowing events to happen without placing a judgment on them. And I love this. Uh, this is, I know people think Deepak Chopra is a hack. And to be honest, I'm really not that, I don't follow people in the public eye very closely, celebrities, stuff like that. Maybe he has done something or said things in recent years that have, you know, you know, rightfully made people think he's a hack. I don't know. <clears throat> but one of my favorite books of all times, 
of all time is the seven spiritual laws of success. And one of the laws, I don't remember what, what it's called, but one of them is about non-judgment. And he just has, in, in this book, he has a little thing that you can do in order to activate the law and get the ball rolling in each of these areas. And for non-judgment, all you do is just decide that you start with one hour or 10 minutes or a half hour where you commit to not judging anything that happens. So you just let things happen without, and this is a mind control thing like everything in this area is, it's just learning to exercise the muscle of shutting up your analytical brain and the judgments that it makes on, on what happens. Um, that's how you do it. You just, you accept that it's a good thing to do and you start doing it on purpose. Um, there is no easy way to just change your mind. You, you know, you have to actually catch yourself doing the things that need to be different, stop and do something else. And so I wanted to just make this video about this because, uh, you know, I'm 43 years old. I started um, doing this stuff intentionally, uh, you know, 20 years ago. I read that book, that Deepak book when I was 23. And, and it's, it's been a long, you know what I mean? I'm just getting to the point now, 20 years later, there's been long periods of time in there where I kind of just dropped the whole thing and just lived however I was living, let my mind do whatever it was gonna do and, you know, comforted myself with substances instead of trying to actually, you know, do anything to fix the problems mentally and in 3D. Um, and, but I'm, I'm telling you that if you commit to this, no matter how young you are, or old you are, eventually you'll get to the point where it starts to take over and become your life. So I'm, I'm letting you know that I personally am getting to the point now where this stuff is second nature and where just overall, it's much, much easier to have a bad thing happen and to just say, I don't know what this means and to actually believe it. You know, not like you're just comforting yourself or you're just, you know, you know you're know, you just um, making yourself feel better even though, the, you know, oh, this bad thing did happen and I'm just gonna convince myself it wasn't bad. You realize over time that the things that seem bad actually end up not being bad a lot of the time. Or that the price you had to pay for going through this painful thing like falling down the stairs uh, could actually end up being a very small price to pay for a larger overall uh, improvement to something. It just becomes, you just see that it's the truth. And once you know it's the truth, it becomes a lot easier. It's a long process for some, maybe it's faster for others. For me, uh, it's just kind of naturally taken about 20 years to come full circle to where things are really getting comfortable. And when bad things happen, uh, it's not, you know, I don't experience it in the same negative way that I used to. And my outer 3D reality is pretty fucking good and keeps getting better. Um, and basically my perspective on life and the way I'm looking at things is elevating more and more. So I just wanted to talk about non-judgment. It's really, it's really important and it's, I think, especially important and, and especially beneficial uh, to think about if you're somebody who is, um, one, new to this, it's really helpful to, to think about this because you know what I mean? It just, it, it, it makes things so much easier. But also if you're somebody who is, you know, trying to make a huge change in a way, in an area that feels really important or that really stresses you out, you have a lot of anxiety about, I mean, this is just like a, this is just like a way of living that um, makes your experience much better, it makes you have a better time, be happier, more peaceful. So uh, whether or not, you know, it really affects your outer manifestation, I don't know, I would imagine it does because if you make too many judgments on things that could easily affect your actions, it could easily affect your reactions to things, it could derail the whole thing if you start backsliding into a different mental state. So, you know, this is this is a pretty important thing overall. So uh, I just wanted to talk about that and, and I don't care if Deepak Chopra is a hack or he has done something to uh, make himself uh, lose credibility the seven spiritual spiritual laws of success is a great book and it's one that i have read literally hundreds of times and that uh has sort of changed meaning over time a lot as i've gotten more experience he actually talks about manifestation i think in the first one of the first two chapters and i never even 
because I did so much reading of that particular book, I read it so many times, prior to reading The Science of Getting Rich uh, by Wallace Waddles, which is sort of the manifestation book that was my uh, original sort of Bible, I didn't even know what Deepak was talking about. Uh, and when I went back and reread the book a couple years ago, I was just, my mind was just blown by the fact that he is talking about manifestation in that book. Um, even though he says the word manifestation, like if you're not coming at this from knowing even really what that means, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um, so anyway, I found that interesting, but you should read that book. It's a great book and I'm pretty sure it's pretty old now. I'm pretty sure you can get a free PDF of it online somewhere. Maybe not legally, but I'm pretty sure it's on somebody's website somewhere for free. So it's a very short book. It's like yay big. So, um, yeah, that's a good one. And, uh, do the exercises that he says to do. They work. They, they will change things. Have a great day.